What if we didn't know what we think we know? People that are trendsetters that are making a difference in the world. What is this TDOS syndrome? The Tito syndrome? Tito syndrome. I walked in my doctor's office 11 years ago and he said to me, if you don't do something drastically different today, you're never going to meet your grandkids. It's toxicity, deficiency, combining, believe it or not, combining to cause what? Every disease statistic is completely out of control. Who wants to take a guess what's the number one killer in the United States? Number one killer in North America is stress. We have gotta do something different. We have to have a new conversation or we're gonna find ourselves in exactly the same place we are, only it's gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. T is for toxicity, the D is for deficiency, the O is for being overweight, and the S is for stress. And those four cofactors, they're deadly enough on their own. But where it became a syndrome for me was when I realized there was an interconnectivity between those four factors that was allowing them to magnify their impact. How much worse do you think it can get? It's a little bit like what the tobacco companies did um, when the tide started to turn against them. Imagine legions of the sick marching on the hospitals when there won't be enough drugs, there won't be enough beds, and there won't be enough doctors. Our drinking water on average has anywhere between three and 500 chemicals in it. We're now using 10,000 chemicals in the production of food. Less than 500 have ever been tested for what they do to us as human beings. These chemicals are altering our hormones and reprogramming our bodies to gain weight. I'm now breathing in the fumes from the coal-fired plants in China from seven to 10 days ago. You think you can eat yourself into wellness? Food will never be enough again, period. Period. But the body does it actually takes the toxin and stuffs it in a fat cell. And no amount of exercise and no amount of regular dieting remove the toxins. They've measured athletes in sweat. There's no toxins being removed in exercise at all. We've got 70% of America overweight. I do not believe all of those people are not trying to diet and aren't exercising. That's a bunch of bull. Well, they just did a study on obese children and they found that the majority of those children actually were suffering from rickets and scurvy, which are diseases of malnutrition. For the first time in the history of the world this year, more children will die of obesity than starvation. The food companies have spent almost a billion dollars trying to determine how they can get us to eat more. They have created something called the bliss point. There was one study that said the thought of going on a diet raises your stress and your cortisol in the human body. Revolutionary new preventative interventional technologies that involve things like nutritional fasting. Now before you go sideways, what do you mean fasting? It's been proven in study after study that caloric restriction with intermittent fasting is one of the greatest strategies absolutely to positively live healthier longer. But it's something that's so difficult to do because our foods are so nutritionally bankrupt that when you reduce the calories to the point where the body would naturally begin to detoxify itself, the body basically goes into starvation mode and holds onto the fat. Because you don't have the nutrients, you don't have what I call toxin hunters that literally can go in and pull these toxins apart, make them water soluble so they can pass out to the liver and the kidneys. And just because it wasn't invented, just because you didn't know it was available, doesn't mean it wasn't possible. He's my only friend that has at his house, at his house, pet zebras and giraffes. He told me the story. He was out in his garden about 12 years ago and he gets bitten on the top of his foot right here on his arch by something called a brown recluse spider. You all familiar with those? They walked in his hospital room and said, if we're going to save you, we need to amputate your foot today. Like not next week, but today. You know, at that point he'd been formulating for 25 years. He'd done 2,300 nutritional formulas for over 650 companies. And he invented at that point the precursor to what this new nutritional technology has become 12 years later. Not only did he save his foot, he lost about 45 pounds. The only place you can find the minerals that existed a hundred or a thousand or even a million years ago is in a mine where they have been pressed from plant food into, into peat. They're in mines, that's it. You can't, you're not going to go and get it out in uh, eastern Colorado or dig it up in the soil anymore. Is there a way that I could live healthier longer? That I could live into what's called my golden years, but not be so crippled? Big study in USA Today a few weeks ago said, yeah, we're living longer, but we're living sicker. That's not what I want. Today, nearly two out of every 100 girls born are showing signs of sexual development at three years of age. 
You and your family will continue to become unhealthy and gain weight unless you embrace these new nutritional technologies. There practically isn't a thing I know of nowadays or anybody knows of nowadays that isn't connected to the length of your telomeres at the tips of your chromosomes. We are standing on the edge of the biggest discovery in the history of mankind. We're gonna cure aging or we're gonna die trying. Dead serious. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually, now that I think about it. It is kind of surprising that uh, uh, people don't know about this. this is, I think it's one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of all time. I can't change the world by myself. I need you to help me. Because what do I wanna do? I wanna create the legions of the well. Now that you know, what will you do? And we wanna to bring to you, we wanna to bring to the world, number one, an awareness about the problem. Because there would be no point in even talking to you about any type of a protocol or a solution if you don't understand the magnitude of the problem. What if you didn't know what you think you know? And what if everything you thought you knew was wrong? And if we don't take control of our own health and someone else does, you might not like the outcome. Thank you.